This is the Hoffman PU2TL tilt head dovetail routing machine. This machine features a unique tilting router head which is ideal for edge joining cabinet returns, face frames, range hoods and millwork. Other applications include handrail joinery, custom millwork, yacht interiors as well as store fixtures to name a few. A handwheel on the front of the machine is used to adjust the tilting angle from plus 45 to minus 45 degrees and the angle setting is shown on a large gauge on the side of the machine. Once the angle is set, a second handwheel is used to adjust the tabletop to within 1 16th of an inch of the back fence. This allows the processing of even small materials safely and accurately. The machine is equipped with a pneumatic hold down clamp with a short stroke cylinder and a large pressure plate. To set your clamp, place your material on the table, lower the hold down on top, pull it back up about an eighth of an inch and lock it in place. The machine features a 1000 watt production duty router motor and Hoffman key sizes W1, 2, 3 and 4 can be processed by simply changing the router bit. With a maximum router travel of 8 inches and a material clamping capacity of 12 inches, the PU2TL can handle even large and tall material with ease. Recess tape scale is used to adjust the square stop for end-to-end -end and butt joints. For miter joints, the included 45 degree center fence plate is adjusted in and out. This plate can be replaced with the optional synchro fence, which is adjustable from 18 to 64 degrees. Hoffman dovetail keys are available in four different sizes, in lengths ranging from one quarter inch all the way up to four inches and all keys can be processed by simply changing the router bit. Here we demonstrate how to attach an angled return to a face frame with a mitered edge. First step, we place the parts together, align the ends and then mark the locations for our keyways. Spacing of about 8 to 10 inches has been shown to work the best. Now I take my panel, place it on the machine and route my dovetail keyways. I align the hash marks on the panel with the center line engraved on the back fence for accurate positioning. The length of the keyway is determined by the thickness of the material and the angle of the miter edge. In this example we've used 3 quarter inch stock and the keys we used are W2 5 8 inch dovetail keys. To assemble the corner, we align the parts and use masking tape tape them together and hold them in place. A 
line of good quality wood glue is applied to one side of the joint. Now we simply flip up one side of the panel and insert the keys one by one. Every dovetail key has a rounded end which aids in inserting it and they are driven home with a hammer. The final step is using a round steel punch to countersink the keys. This really increases the strength of the joint and it draws the two parts tight together. The last step is removing the tape to reveal a tight and perfectly aligned corner from top to bottom. Look at the inside, you see a strong and continuous glue joint. Now we'll show you how to join two mitered panels for a 90 degree corner. Again, we align the parts end to end and then use a pencil to mark our dovetail keyways. Spacing of about 8 to 10 inches has worked well. Once all the keys are marked, we'll go to the machine and route the keyways. Simply align my hash marks with the center line on the back fence. For production environment, we also offer length stop system with different flip stops as well as automatic pusher stop system. The length of the key is determined by the thickness of the material and the angle of the miter. In this case, for 3 quarter inch stock at a 45 degree angle, we use W2 keys 7 8 inch long. All the keyways routed, we line the parts and tape them together with packing tape. line of good quality wood glue is applied to the miter face. Other keys are inserted one by one and driven home with a hammer. Round steel punch is used to countersink the keys, which increases the strength and really pulls the joint tight together. All that's left is removing the tape to reveal a tight and accurately aligned joint from top to bottom. And if we 
turn it around, we'll see a nice tight joint on the inside as well. In this clip, we'll show you how to join tall material with 45 degree mitered corners. The machine is equipped with a W3 router bit and we have set the routing height to approximately 3 and a quarter inches for 3 and 1 8 inch long dovetail keys. Aluminum height extensions on the optional tall center fence plate help keep even tall material properly positioned and aligned. Now we apply good quality wood glue to all mating surfaces. To assemble our box, we stand the first two panels up and insert the key. double dovetail shape and the ribbed sides of the keys are designed to draw the joint tight. One side completed, we flip the box over and repeat on the second side. Three and an eighth inch long keys exert enough pressure to pull that whole 12 inch joint tight. 